Come on out. Come on. You know the way now. Good. Go feast on the garden. We ventured over to our little house. What's wrong, Mister? You know, what, you know what he's doing? He's alerting them that Kevin's dad just fed them. He just put grain in their bucket. He's letting everyone know it's lunch time. Lunch time. Trying to get the rooster back back in the cage. He's, he's trying to juke you. He's confused. Switching things up a little bit today. I'm gonna go for a run oh, this is on good. the trail we went for a walk on the other day. That okay. was really windy and cold, okay. but today right. it's warm. What are you showing me? This house is for sale, see? Okay. Isn't that, Let's house, buy it. Isn't that house awesome? Let's buy all the houses. This house? For sale. Built in 1874. Yeah, I love it because Kevin's like my tour guide. When he like researches a place before Look at we the go there. Stained glass windows. It has, the, we drive. it has the most stained glass windows in Carson Valley. Oh, I read I that know. today. Look at this stained glass window up there. It has 0.29 acres. All right, Dot have liked the hike that we took so much yesterday that she decided she was gonna run it. So I decided I'd walk it. Here she is catching up on me right now. I'll meet her at the finish line. Hopefully she'll have recuperated by then, huh? It's a bit. Oh, it's a baby. I just finished my run and I feel like I might throw up. Ugh, maybe I pushed myself too hard. I don't know. But it was a really beautiful run. Better than running on the road. Then I see this guy walking down the road, glowing in the distance. Glowing? <laughs> Come on. You're my North Star. I'm getting my uh, I'm bronze. This is how I. This is my process. <laughs> I'm bronzing. I see. Oh, Where? Where? In the grass. That's the oh, one I, I see saw. Him. He's a nibble. He's like so hungry. Did you film him? No. Look at this. Is some uh, construction by the beavers over here? It's pretty cool. I've seen like five already on my way back. They're really cute. It's really cool. They build their own little homes. The whole time I was running, I had a feeling I was running super slowly because normally I run on asphalt. And today I was running on the sand, but it's covered in pebbles. I don't know if you guys have seen my sneakers. They're kind of old. I've had them since San Clemente. But they're minimus, New Balance minimus shoes. So they have almost no support at all. They're just like a thin layer of rubber. So you can feel every rock that you step on. But I felt like I was running slow because of that. Turns out I ran it faster than I ran yesterday, somehow. So maybe I'll continue running here. Bye, baby. Emmett's new phrase. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. Boom, Boom baby. baby. Where do you think he learned that from? All right, chicky chickies, time to go inside. Let's go, babies. Let's go. Come on.
Come on. Let's go. Come on. All right, ladies. Let's get in there, ladies. Hi, right, girls. Those are my girls right there. Thank you for having that so easy. Okay, I have a couple things to tell you guys. First of all, on my Dr. Gallagher channel, the first part of the tiny home Q&A question video is up. Our answers are so long that I think it's gonna be like a three-parter. So I think we only answer like six questions, but um, I'll do part two and three or however many it takes. So I'll put a link right here. You can click on it, see if maybe we answer some of your questions or if you're just curious about some information about the little house that we live in. Uh, second thing is, so I was talking to a company recently that I'm gonna do some traveling with and I was asking them like why they just wanted me to come instead of Kevin and they explained that although they would love him to come, the client, like the agency that's in contact with me thinks it would be a great idea for Kevin to come, but the client, whoever it is each time, um, they don't necessarily know how like social media works. Uh, they're just looking for hard numbers. So we have a decent amount of subscribers, but when they look at us individually, I have so many Twitter followers, so many Instagram followers, and Kevin really doesn't have that many because he's not very active on those platforms because he mostly just focuses on our YouTube channel. But she was saying if he had more Twitter followers, he could more likely come on more trips with me. And it's just stuff like that, just having numbers to show them. So if you guys don't know that Kevin has a Twitter, or if you want to go follow him, or you want to see him on more trips with me, I think that would be a good, good idea and a good way to do it. He is at Kevin Bear Puns on Twitter. Bear Puns is the name of his band with Sam. And uh, I'll put the link in the description. You guys should go follow him on Twitter. And if you, he's funny, he's much funnier than I am. Uh, so he'll, his Twitter will be more interesting and maybe he'll come on more trips with me. Last thing is uh, when I go to Washington coming up, I'm gonna be doing a wine tasting, like a wine tour. I guess it's wine country kind of out there, which I'm very excited about. I know nothing about wine, so I have this little book and I'm doing a little research, <laughs> not research, but just like finding out some quick facts, learning as fast as I can. So I don't look like a complete fool when I'm there but I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited for this trip. Just to keep you guys updated on my movie making process, I've written my screenplay. I'm still getting parts of it checked, like fact checked and stuff, but typically the next thing I would do is come up with a shot list of all the shots that I want for the video. However, I'm a very visual person and I'm having trouble just listing what I want to see in the movie. So I think I'm gonna do it a little backwards and I'm gonna do the storyboards first which are like the pictures of each shot that I want, and then create a shot list from there. So it's kind of like my favorite part. It's, it's like making a comic book. So I'm gonna go upstairs, upstairs, up the ladder, and get my sketchbook, and I'm gonna start working on that right now. Dot Deb's filming, she needs you to do it again. It's like 11 o'clock. It's your friendship call. <laughs> there he is. I actually made some progress on my storyboard today. Very happy with it. Makes no sense to you yet because there are no words, but it will eventually. Check out the uh, copy in Dot style. Two different socks? I actually have matching socks on today. Lame. Alright, Dot Tev wants to test me. Kevin, what color grapes? Produce white wine. Green. No. White wine can be made from any color grape. And I don't know this, I'm just reading this right now. It can be made from any color grape because the juice of any grape is white. What makes red wine red is leaving the skin of the red grape in. That's what it says. <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? I thought you said you had one. I don't. I know nothing about wine. This is by far the best thing about having a loft. Footrest. 
All right, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow we're supposed to go see some daffodils. Daffodil Hill. Something like that. But let's see if we get up early enough and if the whole family wants to go. If they do, I think it'll be really fun. Going to sleep. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, or wherever you are in the whole world. And we'll see you tomorrow.